Hello and welcome back to South Hill and update video number 11. Yeah, 11. It got me thinking, am I 11 or 12 on here? And I'm on 11. And what have I been doing? Well, quite a lot. I finally weathered and stuck down the crate, the, the other container. And that is now done. And what else have we done? Well, I've decided not to replace the lamp and put some old drums. I got them from Rusty Rails on eBay. And yeah. So I got them from Rusty Rails. There's a couple of around the layout. And I'm now using Scale Model Scenes walkways. So that now looks a bit better. So that's now done. So yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello Dave. Yeah. I won't put you on the camera. Do you go in the shops? No, I'll go back to work in a minute. Alright. So Alright. Right, back to the model railway instead of questioning David with 300 questions. Um, what else have I done? So, scale model sceneries, fencing, walkway kit that I've actually painted in car, Halfers Car Grey, uh, Halfers Car Primer Grey. It looks a bit better. I know there's a little bit of nudges on it, but I think I'm going to hide that somehow, but I'm still working how. So, it might be shrubs. Oh, another Backman Seamcraft hut that I'm actually using as a museum entrance. Oh, and I've managed to fix up some, I'm more worried about it, it's going to fall off, some scale model scenery fencing there. And I've managed to put one in a curved dip on the banister. I was actually trying to make a banister that goes down, but that went horribly wrong. So, yeah. Oh, and is it ratio or pico? I think it might be ratio um, boxes. I managed, well, after I did the one I accidentally glued on, I decided to put some around the, around the layout. I have got catch pits, but at the moment, I don't know if they're going to be all right to go on there yet. So, yeah. So this is a short update. It's not a long one. So at the moment, all drums are done footpath is done it looks like i've not done a lot for a for a long time since the last video well no i've been mucking around with the hm 7000 from hornby and spending more money on that i've roughly worked it out i think i've spent 150 quid near about on those sound decoders and i could at least bought a high mech yep yeah. i've been thinking of the museum part of south hill and a high mech i think a high i think a bobo high mech or a class 24 will look good on here going back to force down the little branch line where well, the main line still has a well one a one five three from great western i'm thinking about purchasing but i won't know i am going to the york the engage model railway show in york on the 15th it with my with my friend Gemma. She knows, but I don't think she knows that I know that much that the, the, the museum's there. Well, the, the show's at the museum. So she don't know. Or well, she will know. Or well, she won't know. If she watches these. I think she does watch my videos. Why she don't tell me? Well, does she? Oh, God. You turn into a paradox, Jason. Don't do it. Um... So at the moment, I can't really show you anything running. <laughs> What's, it was running. Hold on. That might be a dirty bit of track. I actually have not cleaned the track. It's been in the box for so long. Oh, I do love an 08 shunter. I 
must admit, I've got to stop looking at backroom spares. Yeah, I've been eyeballing the backroom spares for the last couple of weeks. And I've been thinking, perhaps I should get the um, couple of bodies. So another body for the 08. Well, Ralph of Sheffield have been selling that Ivo Network Southeast 08 body for years. And it's made me think, £12 could be worth it. I only have to get a set of running wheels to run on it. Now I have a dead shell, dead shell network southeast. Oh wait, I could be dragged around. So that could be a thing. At the moment, I'm stuck in two mines. A class 73 in BR green. A high mech in BR green. A high mech in blue. I've been thinking about little bobos to go on this layout now. Because this... Uh, you, everyone knows the fiddle yard is not that long. And I'm thinking, maybe a high mech. Nothing like a western. A 37. Mm. But I have been considering the idea of extending this. Not extending it, but building another one of these baseboard kit things. But nothing like this. I mean, nothing with a load of lines on it and a station. I mean, I've been thinking nuclear flask depot lately. Just something to attached to the end of this and just middle of nowhere, nuclear flask depot. I mean, this is like an end of the line, little railway, little, well, sorry about that, little railway museum here with a terminal, little end of the line station there. So, at the moment, the Engage project has not been given a, a break. And it's not been given a rest. I've been like slightly planning what to do with it next. Or do I build something else to go on it? So it's literally a worry. So to reform you, I have done some things to it, but it doesn't look like I've done a lot to it. Yep, so I've stuck down a ticket room, I would call it. So that's it. So that is all I've done to South Hill. So bye bye for now.